Hello, Veteran0121 here, welcome back, and we are let's playing Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. And in the last episode, Oliver's mom died. Wow, huh? That's a pretty dark storyline for pretty much any game like this, actually. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come over here and get the sparkle, and we can get a bunch of booster shoots. So yeah, basically throughout the overworld here, there are sparkle spots, or alchemy spots as I like to call them where you can actually pick up ingredients or other types of items you can use for alchemy. There's an alchemy system in this game uh, that's similar to Dragon Quest 8 and 9. More uh, more similar to Dragon Quest 9 in the fact that you don't have to wait for items to charge in an alchemy pot which uh, was pretty annoying in Dragon Quest 8 but whatever. Yeah, you can use R to change your uh, camera perspective. Yeah, I don't really care about vibration. Whatever. It's there. Alright, Mr. Drippy. Let's go to Ding Dong Dell. Let's check it out. guy looks a little sleepy. Looks to me like a classic case of broken-heartedness. Eh? Yeah? Broken-heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken-hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and useless, uh, they do. So his heart was broken yeah. by... Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way... We can't get into Ding Dong Dell. Yeah, how do we do that? Uh, what's that? I know an old man who's got just what we need. Proper useful I am, eh? <laughs> what old man? The old man, in it. Lives in the woods north of here. Proper deep and dark, deeply dark it is. Okay, the deep dark wood. Alright, so yeah, that's where we're gonna be heading next. But before we do that, let's uh let's talk to the uh no I don't want <laughs> no need to talk to Drippy. Mama, I need pee pee. Yeah. Yeah, these people are all pissed off that the guards here won't let them in. Which I would be too. I mean, there's really no reason for it. Oh, let's talk to this fellow. This guy looks full of energy. Wow, what a jerk. But yeah, he's, uh, apparently he's broken hearted, so, um, yeah, he's not himself, so he can't even do simple things like let people into town, which is quite ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be going to the deep dark wood to, um, learn more ways of the wizard, I guess. I love the overworld theme here in this game. It's amazing. Very, very good. So this bird wants to attack us. Alright, bird. Now we have a new enemy here. Minor bird, I guess. Beard? Or, I don't know. I don't know why it's spelled like that. So we're just gonna whack him with our fucking stick here. Until he dies. Yay! As you can tell by Oliver's side there, he's not really used to fighting, so... You gotta get him up to speed, eh? So 
So uh, yeah, there's a lot of hidden treasures on the overworld too. Uh, there is a lot. There's a spell later on that reveals those treasures, so you can actually see them to pick them up. But right now, if you uh, went around and just mashed the X button in certain spots, you could potentially find secret treasure. Although I'm not going to be getting any of that stuff right now. Well, I might actually. I, I, I'm probably going to wait until I actually get that spell, though. But yeah, as you can see right now, the battle system doesn't really look like a whole lot. But it definitely opens up later on. Once we get the core mechanics of the battle system going. Because, yeah, right now we don't have any spells anything like that we and this it. is a new enemy here ba tender <laughs> what the hell kind of pun I mean so it's like a bartender except he's a sheep so he's a ba tender wow all I gotta say is wow yeah but kind of stings you with the experience and the gold for this first part of the game which is which is fine I guess Ugh. I don't think I wanted to fight this thing a rhino sore hello mr. rhino sore we we're gonna smack you on the head yeah I want to pick up those orbs or glims, that way I can restore Oliver's HP without having to use items. Ooh, you want a spring water. Yeah, enemies do drop items, like in most RPGs. So, let's explore the deep dark wood. Yeah, that's a waystone. That's basically like a save point in this game. Yeah, why not, Mr. Drippy? Absolutely, we will be making use of these waystones. Because contrary to my other LPs, I am not using an emulator for this game. I'm using a real live PlayStation 3. So, uh, yeah, there's no such thing as save states, so I ha kind of have to use save points. In case I die, because I really don't like doing shit twice, and three times, and four times over again. So, yeah, I'm just going to save over my previous saves that I was playing when I was playing this game uh, without recording. So let's continue. Let's follow Mr. Drippy. Let's have him take us to where we need to go here. Mr. Drippy! Wait for me! Who goes there? Jeepers. Ollie boy, meet old Father Oak. How do you, Aliffiness? Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? So this well, character's like Treebeard from the Lord of the Rings? And what it is is, I was wondering if you might lend us a bit of a hand, like. Oh, I should have known. You only ever come to see me when you are in me. Sorry, you tall ship. You know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Ah, spotted it, did you, you bark ship? Well, well. 
the pure-hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. Tantripi, you mean to... That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> as reckless as ever, I see. Very well. You shall have my aid. But first, we had better give the boy a familiar, had we not? Yes, the core oh, mechanic oh, of this yeah. game, as far Clean as battle is concerned. He's right, Dolly boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, innit? Familiars? Yeah, familiars. You're in our world, you can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart, see? They're called familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only going to get bigger and meaner. So, you're going to need a helping hand, or claw, or beak, or tentacle. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. So yeah, basically familiars in this game are the core mechanic of the battle system. Uh, you're allowed three different creatures, eventually, uh, per party member, that you're allowed to uh, summon into battle to, um, to fight for you, basically. And uh, pretty much any, most of the enemies in this game, except for bosses, are trainable. So you can have, I mean, the, the combinations are endless. There's like 300, 400 some enemies in the game, and you can... Yeah, they're potential party members, all of them. So it's the battle system is very, very deep in that respect. So yeah, old Father Oak is going to um, give us a familiar, or he's oh, he's going to give us a page for our wizard's companion. How about that, huh? What a nice tree. Oh right, yeah, so let's go ahead and select form familiar. I don't think we have to use this spell ever again. What's this? That's tidy work, Ollie boy. Look at that. A warrior from your very own heart. A familiar. This is a familiar? That's right. The fighting spirit inside you made flesh. A soldier of your soul. And he can really help me fight? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yep. That's sort of true and sort of not true. So yeah, we can give this guy a name. This guy is a might. I'm just gonna call him Mighty. Whatever, that works. Alright, so yeah, he's going to give us a new spell called Healing Touch. Which is going to be very useful. <laughs> it's probably because you are. Alright, he's going to give us an offensive spell. Alright. Yeah, uh, it's not... The spell menu is actually different than the... Um, the regular menu, you hit the square button to get to the spells menu. Yeah, you can use healing touch whenever you want, but fireball is not meant for 
outside of battle, obviously. So, pretty self-explanatory there. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Father Oak. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh? Spoiling for a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Ollie boy. Huh? But what do I do? Just think what you want him to do and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a logman. Okay. Just think what I want him to do. Here goes. <laughs> I love this little guy. I will be training this little guy for pretty much the entire game. I've heard a lot of people, I heard from one person told me that they ditched the uh, the might uh, once they thought they got stronger uh, familiars or whatever, but I recommend training this little guy and when he can metamorph into a, a stronger might, do so. Because this guy is very balanced. Yeah, let's send him into the fray. Yeah, that's the familiar stamina gog or gauge, I should say. Uh, basically, this determines how long you can have this particular familiar summoned. So when the gauge runs out, then you either have to uh, revert back to just controlling Oliver, or choose a different familiar. Right now, we only have one familiar, and we probably won't need any more than one familiar for right now. But yeah. Now, basically, how the uh, the HP and MP work in this game is uh, the familiar will actually share uh, the characters HP and MP. The only thing that isn't shared is the stats and the level. So Oliver's level uh, will be different than his familiars. If that makes any sense. Yeah, and I don't really... T I, the sign determines like... Uh, what star sign except there's only four of them sun moon star and plant I unlike star and like and like star signs different ones get on better you can use that to help you in battle yeah the signs are a little weird I, I still have to do more research on that stuff so yeah uh, this this guy has different abilities that cost MP and stuff like that. Yeah, and you can swap with your familiars by hitting the L1 button. Yes, please stop talking, Drippy. Good grief. So anyways, yeah, we can use Cut Loose. That's an ability with our familiar. Which hits both enemies. And yeah, that takes about half their HP away. And then you can just regular attack. And as you can see on the left there, there's some kind of clock thing that goes around. And that's basically uh, how long the mite will attack until he gets another target. And then he'll just, you know, be, gotta wait for it to charge back up again sometimes. Ooh. Can I get that? Oh, that zero? What the hell? But yeah, there you go. That's the uh, first battle with a familiar. And as you can see, the familiar levels up as well as Oliver. Oh yeah, and in the creature cage, you can shower your faithful familiars with delicious treats. There's all kinds of treats to choose from. Some will improve their abilities, and there's other ones that can even teach them new tricks. And the bonds of familiarity between you will grow, meaning you can boost their abilities even more. So basically, yeah, it's a good idea to find out the favorite fruit, the the favorite food of your familiars, 
and uh, feed them their favorite food. That way they like you more and they get stronger. Like uh, I think an exa a good example of uh, giving the familiars their favorite food is when they get to a certain familiarity level, they uh, gain stuff like extra ability slots, um, they hit harder, you know, stuff like that. So I recommend finding out which familiars that you like and then throwing treats down their throats. Favor. Yeah, yeah, we should totally help him out. I mean, he's helping us out. I mean, it's only... It's only the... It's only the right thing to do, you know? He scratches our back, we'll scratch his. Yeah, so we have a new part of our menu now, which is called Friends and Familiars. We can find out detailed information about our characters and familiars, and all the equipment they have. Yeah, leveling up, or grinding, if you will. As much as uh, my buddy Pete hates that word, grinding. I just think it's amusing. So I say it anyways. Yeah, I remember that conversation with you, Pete, when you're like, I hate, I hate that word grinding. I'm, I thought it was kind of humorous because I'm like, well, what's so bad about it? But, eh, to each his own. Yeah, well, this is an RPG, so there's going to be a lot of grinding or leveling up going on. Anyways, let's go to our main menu, and uh, this is our friends and familiars area. As you can see, this is our equipment. All Oliver has is an old stick with a bunch of symbols on it. Don't have any accessories. This is our mighty might. He doesn't have any equipment right now, even though he does technically still have a sword. But, um, yeah, that's it. And then we can go to our creature cage, and this is where we can feed our familiars treats. Right now, we don't have any treats for our mite friend here, but that's alright. We will eventually. So I'm going to go back to the save point. So I would really hate to die. Yeah, that's the way out of the woods. I'm going to the freaking save point there, Mr. Drippy. Come on now. Kind of saved my game, you know what I mean? Alright, I'm going to take a pause. Shut up! Goddamn dog. I'm going to take a pause break and be right back. You know what, on second thought, I'm just going to end the episode. That's all for this episode of Let's Play Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. In the next episode, we're going to explore the deep, dark wood in search of the Guardian to find out why he's neglecting his duties. So there you go. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.